hey guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm gonna be showing you how to create this smoky blue look so if you're interested in learning how to create this please stay tuned i went ahead and primed my lids with the p louise eyeshadow base we're gonna go right into the eyeshadow i do have my under eye baking i'm gonna go in with my js5 brush and i'm gonna dip into diet root beer I'm actually wearing a new foundation today. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me. This is my second time wearing it. I'm not sure if I like it, but now that I can see it, like in this lighting, I don't like it. It's the Dose of Colors foundation. Um, it's just a little too matte for my liking, but I wanted to give it a shot. Going with my little JH37 brush and just kind of blend these edges. This is the best little blending brush ever like it just it's gonna change your eyeshadow game highly recommend i feel like there's not many brushes like this one like um i love that it has like a flat top it's not pointed it's gonna get you that diffused eyeshadow look i'm using two small palettes so of course i'm going in with the mini conspiracy but i'm also gonna go in with this morphe 9a palette it's such a beautiful little palette taking my 433 i'm gonna dip into this shade right here 9a palettes are fairly new i would say they've been out for like a few months but if you just need a small little palette that one's really nice um they have other selections for you if you want like a little bit of pink there's a palette that has some pink some blue um but i really love the formula they're really buttery so I'm gonna pack this on my outer V, slowly build the color, and then with the tip of the brush, I'm just gonna blend it into my crease. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of Diet Rupert, just a smudge. I'm just gonna work it around the edges, just to make sure I didn't lose that transition. So now we're gonna go ahead and do a half cut crease. I'm gonna use this white base by P. Louise. Um, I'm not sure what the shade name is. I got a little sample of it. It's a white base. So if you guys have like a white concealer or anything like that, that'll be perfect. I like to go in and carve with a flat brush. I feel like I get the cleanest line. So. Alrighty, so now that the creases are cut, my JS10 brush, and I'm gonna dip into this shade right here. This one is Flat Earth. Such a beautiful icy blue. I'm just gonna go ahead and pack that right over. Ooh, I forgot to dust off the excess. I'm just gonna pack this baby on until it's nice and pigmented. You just wanna keep adding until it's bold enough to your liking. I'm gonna go back in with my 433 and pick up some more of this. Pack this right over so that we can blend the two together and diffuse the line of demarcation. And I'm just like sweeping sideways. Alrighty guys, so now I'm gonna go in with Suva Liner. I'm going in with the shade Tracksuit. It's such a pretty blue. I'm also using the 620 Suva brush. It's such a good liner brush. And I'm just going to go in. I'm going to go in with my favorite irresistible flutter lashes. This little packet comes through. So my lashes are on. I'm going to finish off my bottom eyeshadow. I'm going to go in with the shade Surprise. Now for a little bottom lash mascara. Now for the inner corner, I'm going to go in with a pointed pencil brush and I'm going to dip into my boyfriend's purse. It's such a pretty um, inner corner shadow. Very frosty, very icy. I'm just going to finish the rest of my makeup off camera and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so this is the final look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you plan on recreating this look or what your thoughts are about it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on my next video.